So I want to say in the beginning, in the beginning of the parasha, again, this week, Baruch Hashem, we have the incredible schos to read the parasha of Vayakel. Sorry, the incredible schos this week, Emeritus Hashem, to read the parasha of Vayakel Pekudei. And of course, what the Torah does, over Rabbi say, is the Torah reinforces the halachos of Shabbos. The halachos of Shabbos. And of course, again, why the halachos of Shabbos there? Once again, to reinforce the idea that as important as Shabbos is, as important as Shabbos, sorry, as important as the building of the Mishkan is, the halachos of the Mishkan, the building of the Mishkan, does not trump the does not trump the does not trump the obligation of Shabbos, right? Shabbos is central. Shabbos is core to the nature of the covenantal relationship between Am Yisrael and Hakadosh Baruch Hu. The Mishkan, of course, serves as a meeting point between heaven and earth, and as important as it is, do that work six days a week. But Shabbos is Shabbos is Shabbos, and aside from pikuach nefesh, right? Aside from a threat a threat to life. Nothing else is Doha Shabbos. So, we'll say, so interestingly enough, so the Pasuk therefore says, this is in Parak Lamed Hei Pasuk Yimu, chapter 35, verse 3. Do not go out and kindle a fire in your home on Shabbos. So, we'll say, so we know, we, we know this concept. This phrase ultimately becomes almost like the paradigmatic phrase that teaches us the concept of the Isra Malacha on Shabbos. You can't do Malacha. The paradigmatic example of Malacha, of forbidden labor on Shabbos, is Eish. Is fire. Now there's a whole discussion in the Gemara about, Torah already tells us that we can't do Malach on Shabbos. Why single out Havara? Why single out kindling? So Rashi over here already in the Pasuk talks about the idea that Havara lechalek yatsasa, lelav yatsasa. Again, we're not going to get into that machlokas. Now, let's say, I want to share with you something incredibly beautiful. The Chassam Sofer has a beautiful interpretation of this. The Chassam Sofer says as follows. I want to quote you. He says, Shebechol yimos ha so I will say, what's the whole chap? The, the whole avod of a Jew is ultimately, again, to light the fire of Torah and mitzvahs. That's the whole idea, right? The whole idea in life is, why do I learn? Why do I do mitzvahs? Of course, well, why do I want to do mitzvahs? Because Hashem who told me to learn and to do mitzvahs. But ultimately, again, on a deeper level, what I'm trying to do is light the fire of spirituality. I'm trying to light the fire of Ruchnius. I'm trying to light the fire of the Vekos, of connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That is the entirety of my avoda. That was, it says, says Chassam Sofer, what's the goal? Ad shebiyom hashabos teheish shal eves libo, ole me'eleha karish ve'ish. Chassam Sofer says, I will say, how do you know if you had a successful week have you had a successful week? If when you come to Shabbos, you're on fire. If on Shabbos, the fire is burning, even without it being stoked, right? If on Shabbos, the fire is burning, even without, even without me tending to it. If on Shabbos, the fire is burning as a result of all of my avoda during the week, ultimately, that's a successful weekday. That's the litmus test of six good days if the fire on Shabbos is burning by itself. So I will say, this is interesting. Chassam Sofer says, sometimes you make a mistake. We think that like the weekday is for mundane activities and Shabbos is for Kodesh, right? So the weekday do my stuff and then Shabbos is the day that I stoke my fire. Chassam Sofer says, no, it's just the opposite. During the week, the goal is to stoke the fire so that on Shabbos, it's already burning on its own. Says there was a, such a different way to look at the week, right? We look at the week as Chol and Shabbos as Kodesh. Says Chassam Sofer said, no, every day is Kodesh and every day requires a stoking of the fire and every single day requires putting, you know, both say, what do I have to do? I have to put the material, like, like the logs of Ruchnius onto my fire of spirituality. Every single day I do this and the goal is put it on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so that Shabbos, it's a raging fire. Shabbos, it's already burning. Shabbos is the result of the avoda of my week. Shabbos is not the beginning. Shabbos is the culmination of all my spiritual avoda. And therefore, says Chassam Sofer something so beautiful. He says, that's the pshat. Lo sevaru esh b'chol mosho seichem yom Shabbos. Shabbos shouldn't be the day when you kindle your fire of holiness. Shabbos should be the day when you see the result of the fire that you've been kindling throughout the week. Shabbos is a litmus test. 
How am I doing spiritually? How do I walk into Shabbos? Well, I do I walk into Shabbos inspired because I've spent my week well? Or do I walk into Shabbos totally spent because I have not focused enough on spirituality over the course of the week? Don't kindle anything on Shabbos, says Chassam Sofer. And you'll be able to see how your week went. The Chassam Sofer, of course, is not telling us not to devote serious time to our spirituality during the Yavose, but it's just a different way to view the Shabbos weekday relationship. Again, we often look at the weekday as Chol, and Shabbos is like my spiritual booster. Says Chassam Sofer, no, every day is my spiritual booster. And Shabbos is the day where I can really see how am I doing in life. And I will say, I'll end with this. I think the Chassam Sofer is also teaching us another incredible lesson, which is that if we get ourselves on the right spiritual trajectory, so we're able to develop a momentum, and that momentum is able to move us just memela, memela, right? If I light the fire on Sunday through Friday, that fire remains lit on Shabbos. If we get ourselves into the right behavioral patterns, I get myself into the right habits, I put myself on the right derech, there is a certain spiritual trajectory that continues on. We'll say there's still one day left of the week. Even if we have not yet used Sunday through Thursday in a way to properly fan the flames of spirituality, we should be Zoha Miyaz Hashem to maximize today, to enter into Shabbos with a sense of incredible Hislavos. The fire should already be burning when Shabbos starts. Not to start the fire on Shabbos, but to ultimately continue the fire on Shabbos. To put ourselves in the right pattern of behavior, to put ourselves with the right habits, to put ourselves on the right ongoing cycle of spirituality, so that the fire is always burning. Shabbos.